Now to a massive number in the effort to recall Governor Newsom, $215 million. That's the estimated cost of the special election. The questions tonight, who's paying for it and will it be worth it? CBS 13's Valina Jones is live in Sacramento getting answers for us on this. Valina. Yeah, well, this recall effort does not come cheap. Well, some think it's a waste of money for a governor who has already completed more than half of his term. Others who are leading this recall effort say it could actually save taxpayers money. Big waste of money. So much more we could do with it. He needs to be out. Sent someone new. Recall revelation racking in a sticker shock of at least $215 million statewide. Seems like it's a better use of the money to hold on to it and wait for the real election. The reality? Taxpayers will foot the bill with the state's 58 counties estimating that's how much it will cost to hold the election to recall Governor Newsom. There really isn't any words to express how frustrating that is. The cost in Sacramento County, more than $5 million. Steve Smith, representing California Labor Federation, whose 2 million members are against the recall, fears the money is being wasted. That's $215 million we could be using in cities like Sacramento uh, for public safety, for health care. Instead, it's going to go to this wasteful political recall election. Leader of the recall effort, Orrin Heatley, believes every dime spent actually saves the state money in the long run. The state is bleeding money right now. And in order to stop that, we need to recall and replace this governor with somebody that's more fiscally uh, responsible. Oren says the inflated costs could be reduced by changing the voting method. This governor tr about tripled the cost of what it would have been uh, by implementing all mail-in ballots. Political expert Isaac Hale fears the cost could cripple some counties for an election that Republicans might not win. If the state isn't going to be putting up a lot of the costs, state and local governments could really take a hit they cannot afford. And it is a really, really uphill battle for a Republican candidate to win a statewide race. Now, the estimated cost does not reflect the Secretary of State's cost. The group leading this recall effort tells me as of tonight, preliminary numbers show 36 people have rescinded their signatures out of the 45 of those 58 counties. Interesting. Belinda, thank you. So how does the projected cost of this recall compare to the Gray Davis recall? We're getting answers for you. There you see the numbers. The 2003 election cost taxpayers $25 million. Davis spent $78 million on his campaign, and he could have asked to be reimbursed if he defeated the recall, which he did not.